In this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform the role management functions available through the ANSYS licensing portal. Role management permits administrative users to create additional user accounts and define their access levels. This video starts on the ANSYS licensing portal Elastic Licensing page. From the ANSYS licensing portal, click the Licensing Portal Access option. The Licensing Portal Access page displays the current portal contacts and their respective roles for the selected customer number. The contacts include all ANSYS support coordinators for the selected account. The roles available are ANSYS Support Coordinator, Licensing Portal Administrator, and Licensing Portal Viewer. The ANSYS Support Coordinator role and the Licensing Portal Administrator role provide complete administrative access to all licensing portal functionality. The Licensing Portal Viewer role provides the ability to view but not interact with the licensing portal pages. To add a new contact, click Add Contact. A new row is added to the contact list. Enter the email address of the contact. The contact must already have an active ANSYS account. By default, the role is set to Viewer. Use the drop-down to change this to Administrator if desired. After entering the contact and role information, click Save to add the new contact to the customer number. Contact your ANSYS Sales Account Manager to add an ANSYS Support Coordinator. To remove a contact, click Remove and then click Save. An ANSYS Support Coordinator may only be removed by the ANSYS Sales Account Manager. This concludes this demonstration of the role management functions available through the ANSYS licensing portal. We recommend that you watch the other videos available in the ANSYS licensing portal playlist on the ANSYS How-To Videos YouTube channel.